For elements in the leftmost column of the periodic table, properties that have increasing values as the atomic number increases include which of the following. So one way to do this is just to remember your trends. So to remember what happens uh, to these quantities as you go down a group or across a period. Uh, so that's one way to do it. The other way, which is kind of related, is to not only memorize those relationships, but then also remember why those are the case. And we're going to talk about that right now. So let's look at ionization energy. So actually ionization energy decreases. We're looking at this group one, leftmost column. It actually decreases as you go down a group, as the atomic number increases. Uh, and I think we talked about this in a previous video, but again, remember that as the atom gets bigger, the outermost electron gets farther and farther and farther from the nucleus, which means A, it's harder to, it's easier to pull off uh, it's easier to remove, so therefore it takes less energy to pull off because it's farther away from the nucleus. That attractive force isn't as strong. And you've got uh, shells of non-bonding electrons in the middle, inner, uh, uh, core, sh core electrons, that help shield the outermost electron from the effects of the nucleus, therefore making it easier still uh, to pull off, therefore lower ionization energy. So actually ionization energy decreases as you go down a group. So one isn't true, so anything with one we can get rid of. Uh, it's A, C, and E. Atomic radius. Well, atomic radius does indeed get bigger as you go down, and you can see, we just pretty much discussed why, right? As you're adding more electrons, you're adding them into bigger and to more and more shells that are farther and farther from the nucleus. So that means the radius, the outermost, you know, the, the distance from the nucleus to the outermost electron, uh, will decrease, will increase as you go down a group because you just have more electrons. There's more space. So that is true. So uh, D is the answer because this one doesn't even have two in it. Uh, let's just check three. Well, atomic mass obviously goes up as you go down a group. I mean, you can see it's 1, 6, 22, 39. So that's obviously true. Uh, so the choice here is D. So notice we can memorize the trends, or we can remember what happens when we actually go down a group or across a period, what we're doing as we add electrons, as we add protons to the nucleus, and how that affects all these quantities, whether it's ionization energy, atomic radius, electronegativity, uh, metallic character, whatever it might be. Um, that's the way you go about doing it.